This is leaf mould, it's wonderful stuff for gardeners and we are blessed every year with um, a fall of leaves, they you know, literally fall from the sky. As you know we live on the edge of a forest and in this video I'm just going to show you um, what we do with our leaves and how we um, process them and how we turn them into this amazing leaf mould compost. Welcome back friends, welcome back to the homestead. As I've just said this is our leaf mould compost. Um, this is a year old, um, we shredded this last year and um, we literally just left it here. Um, but leaf mould is a fantastic addition to uh, soils, gardeners love it. Um, and uh, the reason is, is it's full of carbon, um, quite high in phosphorus, um, potassium and uh, calcium. Not a lot of nitrogen in it, um, that's been stripped out and taken back by the trees before they drop the leaves. But a fantastic, like I just said, addition to soils <clears throat> and if you leave it long enough um, then you can make a really nice potting compost out of it. So what do we do with the leaves? As you can see they're all around us. Um, around the homestead are piles of leaves which we've uh, raked up and, um, and then once the trees have dropped all the leaves then we'll process it because otherwise we're just doing the same job over and over again every, every day more leaves. So um, what we need to do really is to process the leaf. I mean if you, if you leave leaves um, whole they will eventually break down but it's quite a long process and could take many years particularly in our climate so what we need to do is process them by um, chopping them up and then we just leap, put them in a big pile because of the way that leaf mold compost um, breaks down it's a fungal activity and so it doesn't need a lot of heat and um, you know so you don't need to keep turning it over you just put it into a pile and you just leave it um, but to to make that process quicker we we do chop it all down, mulch it up, and then we leave it in a big pile here. Next to me here is a pile that we've already been working on. And then what we'll do is continue processing the rest of the leaves and, and bring this pile up here. Um, it'll make it quite big. So um, let me show you what we need to do first of all. Um, we use a leaf rake, and uh, I'll show you how that works. And, and then we lay them out into piles, and then we'll process them and uh, mulch them up using our lawnmower. So why do we go through the bother of making the leaf mould compost? Well first of all it's free, um, it falls from the sky and what is an annoyance for others is simply a bounty for us. Leaf mould compost is great at absorbing and holding on to water so it makes a great amendment for soils especially in our sandy loam soil that we have here in Latvia. It creates an environment that attracts earthworms and good bacteria. Um, remember though it's not nutrient rich, it just contains some minerals so you still need to fertilise the soil. Um, this is more of a conditioner. At the moment, at the point of making this video, we use a petrol lawnmower. Um, it's not ideal, an electric would be much better, but I don't want to buy a cheap electric mower that will break quickly just for doing leaf mould and so I'm holding out until a battery mowers are more affordable and battery technology is better. Um, at some point in the future we'll be generating our own electricity and then the loop will be closed. These um, leaf rakes are brilliant and um, they're designed, they will only do leaves of some light, light um, grass cuttings, anything more and they'll easily break. Um, they appear quite flimsy, but for the job of the leaves, they're brilliant. They work exactly as intended. Um, so we have a couple of these around the place. And what we tend to do is then rake the leaves up into long piles. So, that, you know, the actual process of mulching, how to make the most effective use of the lawnmower and mulching the leaves is just put them into long piles like this and then run the lawnmower over once um, to get your first cut and then twice to get the second cut as shown here and then you should get it about right um, and then I just rake them up again um, and then we'll collect them and put them into a large barrel and then eventually put them onto the pile. You, you, you might want to go through a third time um, depending on what leaves you've got. Most of this is obviously oak. Um, so twice is normally enough. 
possibly three times. And then what we do is, and um, we've got these snow spades, which shovels, which appreciate a lot of people don't have the same sort of snow as we do, so they're not as, maybe not as easy to get hold of. But um, the snow shovels are brilliant for light stuff like this. Um, so they're really handy at this time of year, and then obviously they'll be used a lot during the winter when we have to shovel snow out of the way. If you can get a hold of one of these, then I would recommend getting a hold of one. Um, and this wheelbarrow is a new um, addition to the homestead. Um, and again, it works really well for light stuff, bulky light stuff like this um, leaves, these piles of leaves. And then it's off to the pile that we saw earlier. Tips out really easy. Second load there. And um, our final third load. And I might, um, th there's some other piles around the homestead that we still need to do and process, but um, you, you don't need to see that. Um, that pile will get uh, bigger and bigger. And over time will break down, obviously, and get smaller. Well, that's it really. Um, that's leaf mold in a nutshell. That's how we make it. That's how um, we process it. And then we do nothing else to it. We just leave it like that. And um, in 12 months time or two years time, there's a really nice pile of leaf mold compost. If you live in a warmer area, then it'll be quicker. I um, hope you found that of interest. Um, give us a thumbs up if at any point you like the video. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed. Join us on the journey. And I look forward to seeing you in another video soon. Bye for now.